what is going on everybody this is the crypto q youtube channel and today i'm going to be talking about relight finance this is an ico that will be coming out and based on the paid ignition launchpad it is a cross-chain interoperable lending protocol it is based off of polka dot uh, we can see here let's find where it's at this is their ico details so in three days, well, two days, really, since the recording is on May 14th, so pretty much two days, the IDO will be coming out with 11 and pretty much 11.25 uh, Relay will be for sale at an ICO price of four and a half cents. Goal is to reach 500,000 and a personal cap of a thousand so if you are already a part of the paid network and you are participating good luck I hope you get an allocation personally I am not I am uh, still working on building up a holding of paid so I can get into these IDOs ICOs and all this project itself is very interesting i want to cover their website real quick and their app which i'll quickly cover their app i am uh let's see so i'm going to quickly cover their app and this is just a kind of impromptu dashboard you can connect your wallet but you can't do anything on it yet uh, you can't this won't take you anywhere it won't you can't actually buy it but this is what it will look like very simple UI and it should hopefully be pretty easy you know they break down what the price of rally rely would be the rewards your APY what you're staking uh, or stacking <laughs> in this case uh, the asset in their pools they've got a night feature we can go ahead and try out the night feature oh it doesn't save it that's that's fine I'm sure they're still implementing stuff like that whether there's collateral or not you can deposit and withdraw the supply so if you want to supply you'll earn an APY and then if you borrow it there will be an APY for it along with a governance model they misspelled coming needs to remove one of the M's so if someone on the team is watching this just note there are a couple spelling error spare ah, spelling errors on the app or the dashboard at the moment now let's kind of jump into it they've got a telegram along with their Twitter they have a pretty decent following on Twitter at just under 9,000 idea was on May 17th so uh, I think it's actually May 17th and this is this is simply off by a day so keep in mind they will be offering very easy to use lending and borrowing very sustainable fees in a cross-chain approach and initially starting off on polka dot ethereum and Bitcoin so lower collaterals Positions are over collateralized by 180 plus percent, but they want to change things like that to have fair fees, make an easy UX user experience for people that maybe not enjoy having to learn every detail. This is sort of how their breakdown is going to be. You'll have lenders and borrowers in a pool, so they'll send their collateral over. And let's say they send Ethereum. They will be earning, let's say, die for the borrowers. They'll send it over, they'll get die back, and they can spend the die and have to pay back eventually. Let's say I'm a lender. I want to provide die to the pool, and I will be earning our die. And then this die can be sent over to the borrowers, and there will be in a reserve fund interoperable. They'll have a reserve fund. 
to help with safety during market volatility. That is nice. I do like that a lot. They'll have fixed and non-fixed term pools for different earning rates. If they come out with an app, that would be really, really nice. Because if this is how it looks, I think this will look really good and be very simple to use. They'll governance for uh, pretty much the future of the token. I do like that a lot. Liquidity mining and rewards and staking. Different ways to earn pretty much is what will be happening. So if you're staking Relay in the reserve fund, you'll yield additional rewards in the form of the fees while also helping the Relay ecosystem. I noticed one thing on their site on their tokenomics. They have the initial supply, but not the total supply. And to find that you'll find a pretty much exact same graphic here on their white paper except it'll actually have the total supply listed here. So it's slightly different. They don't have the pricing and I stuff like that. So it's, I'm going to cover this one instead, since it seems to have a bit more information. So they're going to start off with about uh, just a bit under 15 million supply and will inflate up to 182 million. The public sale price is four and a half cents. And the private sale was three and a half cents. The private sale has a 12 month locking period. So they have a 12 month vesting period with a gradual release of one twelfth a month. So the people that bought in at a private sale, uh, every month they're going to get a fraction of their tokens released. The team has a 12 month lock up period af after that they will get one twelfth per month so I, that's good and there's no lockup for liquidity mining six percent public sale ten percent to the treasury ten percent to the team fifteen percent private seventeen percent to their partners twenty five percent is liquidity mining and you can see the rest so let's go back through now the use of funds token allocation R&D is 40%, 25% marketing, 20% operations, and 15% exchange listings. I like it. Uh, they, they're not over leveraging marketing, but it is not something they're forgetting about. And we have their team. So the founder, George Kroshkov and Evald Cree are their two founders, along with their other CTO, product and risk modeling. They have their advisors. So Kyle Sh Chasey. Chasey, he's the uh, head guy at the paid network. Marco, and he's an advisor working with uh, Certic, which is good. Dban, Ratnisweren, Remarks.com and GD10. There you go. And Orion Depp for Master Ventures. They have a big list of partners and backers. That is part of why I'm pretty excited about this. Now, I, you know, I'm not going to be able to get into their public sale, but depending on what happens post public sale, whether this goes down or it goes up, I might end up buying some. Backed by Master Ventures, AU21, AU195, GD10, X21, Rare Stone, Genbok, Squares, Parsec, Phoenix. I mean, some some decent names. Not too, too bad. The partnered with Dragon Labs, Distributed Lab, Paid Ignition, Certic, Misfit, and PixPay. They're in the news under some of the more popular names. And their roadmap. So Q1, they'll have their Ethan Dot initial deployment, an external audit, staking reserve fund implementation, Gradual migration to bridge and parachain assets. That is good. Full interoperability. Polkadot ERC20 with Dot, Kusama, Kala, Tether, Urine Finance, Ren, NFT, Collateral. Cool, cool, cool. Full interoperability. Polkadot and Bitcoin. We'll be also implementing Litecoin. Interesting. Initial government structure assets. Adam, EOS, uh, Synthetics, 
zero X rep credit insurance flash loans and Q3, Q4 of 2022. So a more than a year away from now, credit transferability, margin loans and swapping a full DAO implementation, mortgage loans, that's huge. Synthetics and real world assets, mortgage loans. That is, um, I, I like it. I like when I see the implementation of crypto into the real world generate like assets. If, if you can get a mortgage loan for a piece of real estate or land or whatever the case is, and you can still be involved in crypto doing the whole thing, I'm all for it. Now, would I get a mortgage loan through Relight? If everything is audited and the rates are good, then yes. But I really would only be able to pay it in a stable coin because as it sits, if I were to be paying in some other form of uh, cryptocurrency, I would be subject to capital gains tax with the purchase of the asset. And to be fair, if I were to use Ethereum and I'd bought it all at 2000 and now I am using it to pay off my mortgage loan at 4000 well, I've got $2,000 in capital gains tax to pay also. So I think that's one thing that we will have to see what the government does as time goes on because... I think this is the future. I truly believe crypto is the future and our, you know, the government's a little behind on uh, how it's going to be treated. So with that being said, that is Relight Finance. Pretty, pretty uh, interesting. I, I think they are going to have a really, really big launch i th i think they're going to end up being pretty successful myself personally let me know what you think of relight down below and if you are going to be a part of the paid network launch and if that's the case i good luck to you i hope you succeed